All right, welcome back to another Guild Wars 1 playthrough in Nightfall. And, um, it's been a while. Apologies, everyone. Sorry for that gap in our playthrough. I I have been busy. If I check back, if I look back at our, the last video was posted uh, a, a month ago. So I think it's been about a month, give or take a couple days. And I, I didn't forget about you guys. I didn't forget about Guild Wars. I love Guild Wars. Uh, I was just busy with some real life stuff. Uh, it's various other reasons that I don't, I don't need to get into it, but we're back, we're here, and that's another one of the great things about Guild Wars 1, is that it'll always be here, forever, waiting for you to come back to it. Um, and if I remember by looking at my last video, I just barely finished the Grand Court of Sabelka. I, a, a bit of an embarrassing victory, as pointed out by some of the viewers, um, but we made it through uh, again in this in this playthrough. I'm I'm not consulting any wikis I'm literally looking at the names of skills and just thinking. Oh, that's a cool skill Let me try it out. So I'm not power gaming. I'm not even using like max My, my, my weapons on my character are pretty good, but like on my heroes far from good uh, But anyway, let's keep going. We are doing the primary quest attack at the Kodosh I vaguely remember this. I think, um, I don't remember this actually. <laughs> yeah, I think we're getting ready to go into the desolation, which is this whole like empty area that we have not been to yet. This is where nightfall gets pretty tough, I think. Uh, so of course we need Koss and Meloni. And that leaves us one more hero we can br get. We're, we're kind of playing the old school rules where I can only bring three heroes and the rest I got to bring henchmen. Um, so I don't think I'm going to bring healers. I think I will bring uh, Elias is kind of our MVP. I'm not going to have him use Tainted Flesh anymore. Although now that we have two melee, it might not be a bad idea. Uh, but yeah, rather than that, I think I'm going to give him... He's going to be death. He's going to be using... I like I like him with Discord, actually. Animate Bone Horror is fine. Uh, no Death Nova. Instead of Death Nova, he will bring... That's a little bit high. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to bring. I'm using some blood magic, so I'll pump blood magic. Let's check out our blood magic. Maybe... Strip enchantment is solid. That's a solid one. How is he on energy, though? Not horrible. Yeah, we'll just do that. That's fine. Milani is running Ebon Dust Aura. Is she using a Ebon? Yeah, she's using an Ebon Scythe. Yeah, that was a cool one. He's using Dragon Slash. I like Dragon Slash. She's got... Yeah, okay. It's important if you're going to run Frenzy to also run s Sprint so that you can cancel out the double damage that they take from it. But yeah, so we're solid there. Let's grab our henchmen. So I'm going to need healers because I didn't bring any healers. Plus a nuker. And I really like Sogolon for the extra... What do you call it? Yeah, that. Support. But we're going to go with another Domination. And I'm not going to run this. I'm going to run my favorite. Actually, is Koss using... He's got uh, one condition. Milani has... One condition. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to go fragility spam. 
I want to go full illusion. And... I'm, I'm always tempted to go illusionary weaponry. I'm going to bring shared burden, actually. And I'm not going to bring empathy because Odura has it. Instead of empathy, why don't I bring... Um... Something else that does damage. Signet of clumsiness. Oh, uh, clumsiness. Why don't I just bring clumsiness? That's better. No. No. Alright, that gives us some extra, extra points. Yeah, we'll do this. Ooh, let's try some... Let's try some frustration. I've never run this skill, actually. Target foe casts spells. Target foe casts spells 50%. I don't think it stacks with shared burden, though. That's a problem. But I do like this interrupted, takes 20, 53 damage every time they're interrupted. And if the skill is interrupted, it deals double damage. Let's try and get that. So we're going to bring clumsiness. AOE, some AOE interrupt. And then finally... That's another interrupt. Cry of Pain is so good. Um, yeah, let's bring some. Let's bring some um, energy tap. I think I want more reliable health, so we'll bring Ether Feast as well. Cool. Let's do it. All right. Uh, how do I get there? I need to go. Either from here or for I, I guess we'll just go from here. All right, we got our hero set. I, I vaguely remember this. Vaguely remember this. And by vaguely, I mean like barely. I think I think we're gonna have to defend this spot. For some reason, I remember having defended against the Dijin, but maybe not. Oh no, the Marganites, that's what I mean. Yeah, okay, I remember this spot. I think we just have to defend this font of Liss. There's the uh, exclamation mark there. The Okay, so the Dijin are on our side now. Let's go, Butto. Butto? Buto? How do you want me to pronounce that name? Talk to me. What are we doing? Lisa has indeed blessed us with another beautiful day. Okay. Great foes indeed. Heroes indeed. The Dijin have. These Dijin that Zirai sent us come in handy. Station at the edge of the form. I fear an attack will come all too soon. Several merchants. I fear they will soon be conduits. Abaddon's forces. So, do I stay here or do I go up there? I think we'll go up there. Oh, there they are. Marganites are attacking. Wow. They're they're taking out all our Vabians. Is this is this mission possible to fail? I mean, it's not a mission; it's a quest. There we go. Frustration. Put on some clumsiness. Yeah, that fifty-three damage was from um, was from frustration. It lasts twenty-one seconds. This is kind of fun. Because I'm I'm really bad at interrupting. There we go. But every time I see that 53 damage, 
That means it was su uh, success uh, successful interrupt. It's kind of fun. I wish... The only thing that would make it better is if it was an AoE hex. That's interesting. Um, he took 97 damage from clumsiness, but he didn't take damage from frustration then. Which doesn't quite make sense. Unless the damage of the interrupt from clumsiness activated before frustration and then he died. But it should have given me the frustration number. Is that it? Help defend the form. If it should fall, so will the code. Okay, so we can fail this. It is possible to fail. Clear it first. And I should be using Cry of Pain a little more regularly. Since it is a superior skill to my other interrupts. My volume is a little bit low. Let's turn that up. A lot of running around. The Dijin do tons of damage because they use Searing Flame, that's why. Oh, look at that damage. That 106 was from interrupting a skill. So frustration doesn't insane damage actually I can't believe I'm just now using this wow I really like this skill with shared burden it's excellent because shared burden is AoE is that it? Not it. We're not out of the woods yet. What is it? Okay. Yeah, the, these double ruby degens can almost solo these groups. And shared burden just makes them 50%. It, it basically reduces their damage by 50% too. Cutscene. Milani, what's the matter? Koss, I've had a horrible vision. I saw my village, Ranjak, surrounded by these tendrils and transformed into a nightmare realm. Sounds like a bad dream. Not a dream. More like an intrusion, a warning. Like I was in someone else's nightmare. These tendrils are bad, but they seem to have stabilized. No, Milani is right. I have been told that the Garden of Severin has been transformed by these things. It has fallen into night. The Garden? We must go there at once. No, if it happened there, it happened in Ranjak as well. We must go there instead. Milani, no. We need to address a real problem, not a silly dream. Not a dream, a vision. My village has risked everything on our behalf. They're more important than a few plants. The garden is very important to the princess. We've worked hard to make them our allies. Allies? You just care about wealthy princes instead of ordinary people. I care about a real threat, not about some distracting dream. Not a dream, a vision. You're just being stubborn. You just think you're always right. Enough. You lead our party, and I will abide by your decision. You must choose which way we must go. Oh. Agreed. You lead, and I shall follow. Which will it be? The garden or the village? I think I've always chosen the Ronjok with Maloney, because it... You know, she sounds a little more serious. 
So I think I'm gonna choose Casas this time. I do like that in Nightfall there are some actual choices to be made. Um, okay. See Zerai for my reward. But um, yeah, how do we how do we choose? I guess we'll choose here. Cause I I I distinctly remember the Ranjak mission. I do not remember the other mission. I don't remember the Garden in Danger mission. Ruptures have indeed been reported in the Garden of Saboran. Da 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 da. The ancient caretaker. Da da da. Um, the Hedge Wizard of Saboran were killed or ran in terror from their sacred duty to protect the most beautiful and powerful sites. Search the garden for the Hedge Wizard Lohaj. Gain his aid. You will be protected from the Temple of Lys. You must now protect Seborin. If not, all of Abby will fail. That sounds pretty serious. You must make the choice. Yeah, so like, Milani is, is our teammate. And if you care about her opinion, you choose that. But I do not remember the garden mission at all. So I think we're going to go with this one. And for this one, I have to have costs. One thing that was weird is... I don't know if you noticed, in the cutscene... They were using different items, different weapons. Like she was holding a different weapon. And Koss was holding a different weapon. I need to sell some items really quick. Uh, so yeah, anyway, we're going to go with Koss. Interestingly, I can accept both quests. That's weird. Uh, let me sell some stuff really quick. I don't remember picking up this earth set. It's not max damage. Um, but we're gonna sell it. Okay, I probably shouldn't have sold that, <laughs> but I sold it. Okay, let's go to Nightfall and Garden, and we get there through... How do we get there again? I guess we can just go out this way. I'm going to get rid of Milani, and I'm going to bring in Norgu. He's only level 19, but he is a Mesmer. And he's using Enchanter's Conundrum. I'm not going to bring that because I already have Shared Burden, and I don't think they stack the, the slowed, the slow damage, or the slow um, casting. So he's using Inspiration Domination. Domination is a little bit low damage. Let's just give him good old E-Surge. Alright. And I actually do want a Signet of Capture here. And I don't know what secondary to take, but I have a lot of Necromancer Elites. I don't have a lot of Paragon Elites. Or Dervish Elites. Let's go Dervish. I don't know. What I'm really hoping for is more Mesmer Elites. But I think I have pretty much all of the ones that I need. Oh, okay. I can go through T-Hark Orchard, actually. T-Hark Orchard? There we go. Is this right? Yep, this is right. So we can go into the Nightfall and Garden. Garden of Seberine right here. Good thing I figured that out. Could have could have had to walk a long way. Whoa. Okay, so this is our first look at like what Abaddon does to the landscape. And I think we're getting closer to the sulfuric waste. message for you from the secret worst receiver believes you're capable of understanding chantry of secrets okay let's go do that first it's chantry of secrets did i miss something back there because until we until we talk to the master of whispers we can't get um lightbringer points i don't think 
Who did he tell us to talk to again? Oh, okay. Lightbringer? Seeker? There we go. So that should have given us Lightbringer status. There we go. So now we do damage to Avedon and minions, which are the Marganites. Alright, let's go back. That should have done the trick. Something's up with our sound. I'm not hearing really any effects, maybe? Seems really quiet. Alright. That should have done the trick. I'm happy with our damage, and I'm happy with our sustain. Sustainability. Yeah, he doesn't have the exclamation mark, so that should have worked. The rare time where you don't want someone to have the exclamation marks. Here we go. Servant of Menzies. And you deal 5% more damage to and have plus one damage redu reduction against Abaddon. It doesn't seem that great, but it's for each rank of Lightbringer. So you can get a max of like 50% damage increase and 10 damage reduction. Is that right? Is that the max rank? Obviously, it takes a while to level those up. But Shadow Warrior. Shadow Warrior reminds me of the old... Dang. It's pretty good damage. That old game that came out around Duke Nukem. Do you remember that game, Shadow Warrior? I really like Frustration. In the comments, tell me how is the best way to use Frustration? Because... I'm really liking it. Because not only... Like, a lot of the other skills that do damage based on what the opponent does, it requires them to successfully cast a, a spell or, or get off a skill. But this punishes them for not... Oh, Wastrel's Worry would be good, I think. Because the idea is to just completely shut them down and deal damage while they're shut down. So frustration plus wasteful worry would be a good combo. Except wasteful worry is not a illusion, I don't think. It's domination. Hmm. Yeah, because this, if they successfully loses, if they successfully cast a skill, it just it removes wasteful worry. But if they don't cast a skill, they take a lot of damage. So it would be good in a hybrid build. Domination and Illusion. Hey, there he is. And this is not a quest or mission. This is a quest, though. I really, I don't think I've ever done this quest ever. Cost, why don't you try to talk some sense into him? All right, here's the here's the mission. I've never done this. All is lost. We are doomed, I tell you, doomed. We're here to help, old man. This place is lost, I fear. We should worry about Ranjak. There is no help. She's still wanting us to no go to hope. Ranjak. The world is ending. Nightfall is at hand. Is everything lost then? No. But the corruption is spreading. Soon it will engulf everything. Not if we can stop it. That was cool. 
That was a cool line. Generous Horde. Yeah, I'm pretty sure every time I've played through Nightfall, I always felt like going with Milani is the morally good choice. So I think that's why I never, I never went this way. Uh, we are hedge wizards, of course the wealthy merchants bestowed upon us. Blah, blah, blah. Even a hedge wi wizard needs to eat. It's time for us to fight a final battle in hopes of saving Severine and what little beauty remains in this world. Let's do it. Generous horde. Okay, this is gonna be. Okay, protect the protect the spirits from the onslaught of torment. The Light of Severine is the only thing that can harm the Heartbreak. Oh, I do remember this. Drop the light when you're close to an enemy. It releases energy. Horniculturist Hinan. I, I, okay, I have done this. It's just, I don't usually do it. So I have to get, do I have to kill the Harbingers? Yeah, I have to. So I gotta drop the light. This mission would be better suited for a warrior, a frontliner. So maybe I should have gone illusionary weaponry so I could be on the front lines, but yeah, here's our little tutorial. It's funny because last time we were here there was a massive party going on. Oh. That's it. He's done. And we can get more lights from these spirits. Creates a light, and then you can pick one up from them. So the light just insta-kills them? That's pretty easy. Did we get experience for that? I didn't notice. <laughs> Let's fight these guys. Shared burden is unbelievably good. Yeah, we gotta get another light. Oh, so every time we kill a Harbinger, another Spirit of Severine spawns. That's good, so we don't need to backtrack too much. Why is the Horniculturist not with us? Interesting. It's pinging us back there. But don't over aggro. The cleric. Oh, they are attacking the spirit. Okay, I'm understanding this now. It's so bright here, I can't really see the enemy. Harbinger over there. I didn't mean to pick this up actually. Does it damage the Harnamites? Oh, it doesn't activate. Okay, so I, I'm allowed to drop it. I thought I'm doing this right. I haven't gotten the bonus yet. And I don't know if I should clear both sides. I think I have to kill all the Harbingers though. So I think we're doing the right thing. I've done this mission at least once. Oh, okay, I need to be careful. Over 
nice to have a minion master, I must say. That Harbinger attacks us? Did it run up to us? No, not yet. I'm gonna go ahead and get a light. You guys can keep fighting. I'll be right there, I promise. It's weird that it told us that Horniculturist Keenan must survive because he's not even in the battle. Okay, he's fighting a bone horrors. There goes our minion army. Harbinger. Should I clear all this out? That's such a good spike. Frustration plus clumsiness or frustration plus cry of pain. And on top of that, they fail their skill, whatever they're casting. Alright. Oh, he's spawning more enemies. Okay. Get over there. I don't need this item right now. They're grouped up. So you're gonna do mad damage. Go. Shared burden, excellent skill choice for this mission. Since we're not really scared, we're just I'm just gonna clear everyone. shouldn't be casting signal clumsiness right after clumsiness because they actually it'll cancel out clumsiness I forgot about that trick or cheat oh yeah this is Halloween what is it what does that drop candied apple heck yeah Harbinger of Nightfall, that's who, that's who we gotta take out. There's some Harbingers up there too. Let's just go Completionist. Let's take out the left and right Harbingers up here. And we'll take out the Harbinger of Nightfall last. Again, we didn't get any bonus. Oh, here's the bonus. To defeat the additional Harbingers. happens if we don't protect one? Ah, uh, does another Harbinger spawn? Okay, I'm starting to see a problem. That was an awesome spike. Are you kidding me? Live, buddy. Live. Take out the Reaper. Dang, he killed it. I need to go back and look at that spike, though. That was nuts.
Alright, I think I'm gonna leave my henchmen here. And then my heroes will come with me. So there definitely is some timing to this. Because there's some enemies. Uh, this is a bad idea. Bad idea, board. got a lot harder. Not many monks. Can't eat apple. <laughs> we should be good. So I don't think there's a big issue of letting a couple spirits die. The problem is it does make the mission harder because the light is spawning farther away. But I just need to take out one more harbinger and then we can make a run for the end the harbinger of nightfall or whatever oh there's still a lot reapers don't go down easy okay and this harbinger seems to have a bigger army with him the other one was pretty easy. Arbinger down. Take out those guys. Go grab the last light and we're gonna finish this mission. Intercept this army here. They seem to always spawn on this side of the map, the left side of the map. Gosh. It's a load of damage. We did it. We did the bonus too. That's awesome. Huh? It says you have defeated zero of two additional harbingers. What is that? How is that possible? What? Where are the two additional harbingers? Are they up there? That's weird. shot him? I'm guessing it doesn't. Yeah, it only takes up part of his health. So we gotta run back. You guys keep fighting him. I'll be back. This is where it would be nice to have extra help here. Extra players. I don't think he can kill my party. Just don't let him heal. Cause is he just soloing them? Maybe he doesn't like to run too far away, I guess. Oh, he's getting healed. That's more damage. One more. As long as you guys don't die. The 
this should finish him off. Running skills would have been better here. Alright, they will kill my whole party. We should do it. No, my party's winning. Party's too strong. Last one, let's go, let's go. No, hard reason. Cast a ride on him. Boom. Easy. Cos? So much of the garden has been corrupted. More would have been lost had we not been here. How is Milani? Better. The visions seem to have passed. We had to come here. It was a real threat. You have to think things through to realize what's important. I understand. And I think Milani understands as well. Milani. She's just so... frustrating. Agreed. But sometimes you have to think things through to realize what's important. Or who's important. I suppose you're right. You think we should talk, her and I? Yes. And you will. When the time is right. For my sake, I hope that time is soon. <laughs> Meanwhile, the desolation. Cool camera work. Mistress, is something wrong? The ruptures. They have stopped. It matters not. When you free our lord, the torment will wash over the world, transforming it. You are right. I can feel Abaddon's presence like a weight in my mind. It is nearly overwhelming. Abaddon depends upon you. Would you hesitate now? No. No. Abaddon's will be done. It is, mistress. And your reward is coming when you weaken the last barriers. Hail, Abaddon! Yes. Hail, Abaddon. That doesn't make sense, though. So where are the last Harbingers? I just realized my audio, my computer audio was low. Dang it. All right. Um, I'm going to have to check the wiki or something later. Generous Horde. Where are the last two Harbingers? Because I'm pretty sure the two Harbingers that I killed were not required. It's a little weird. All right, here's the next mission. Oh, I can go back and do that mission in Ranjak, or I can cross the Desolation, which is what we're going to do next. I didn't know you could go back. That's weird. It seems like if the time is progressing forward, it would be, it's weird that they... Usually in Nightfall, you have to choose, and then, you know, you deal with the consequences in that timeline and then after you beat nightfall you go back and you can do the other missions that you missed but that's not the case now all right we're gonna oh norgo hit level 20 let's go all right um i'm going to remove costs and put zed in and next episode which i should put out in a timely fashion this time um, we'll be crossing the desolation, which means we have to go back to s command post. So anyway, thank you guys for being patient and w waiting until my next ep this episode came out. It has been a while, but I'm gonna try and put out episodes again, as I was before. Maybe not quite as often as I, I was. I was doing like kind of a crazy pace of putting on an episode every single day. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it that much, that frequently, but I will, I, it, the next episode will come out sooner than a month later, so, <laughs> anyway, uh, in the comments, if you want to let me know where the last two Harbingers were, uh, that'll be helpful, and also, I'm curious, what did you think about this frustration skill, um, what are some good synergies other than, you know, the other interrupts in Illusion, what are some other good, um, synergies with this. I guess I could put some interrupts in my team that they can go with. Like a, I could make Norgu a domination interrupter or something. And then that would really proc pretty often. 
I might even use this plus echo to get it on as many people as possible, I guess. I don't know. Tell me in the comments. What do you, what do you think? What do you think? All right. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.